really nice day. You got a lot of big, beautiful perch and some everything. Uh, largemouth bass, smallmouth, beautiful smallmouth bass, big pickerel. Um, like I said, all the all the perch that you want, uh, yellow perch and uh, all the bluegills you want, catfish. And uh, I'm gonna do some catfishing now, but a really great day. Oh, he's a white perch. All right, we got white perch. That's a, what we're looking for. And we got him, that's about 17 feet of water. That's a great size fish too. So I'm gonna drift through here a little, see how these guys are laid out see how they're laid out and uh, maybe we can pick a few more Let's see what he is about all right we got another perch so we're picking at the perch today smallmouth bass plenty of bluegills oh. I'm gonna get him in the cooler and I found, well, what we're hitting, I started in some deeper water. And that's where the, they could be darting in and out of that deeper water. But, we're hitting them in the 15, 17, 18 foot zone. Apparently there's, ooh, a white perch. All right. Those are some nice marks on the screen. Oh, uh, yeah, if you could give me one second here. Can, can you, can you hold on? Oh. Whoa, that's a smallmouth bass. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, just uh, actually the first one I've gotten up here. So we got smallmouth. Oh, beautiful, beautiful smallmouth bass. Yeah, let me get him on his way. But we got smallmouth. I'm actually uh, I'm doing some filming. Uh, hold on one second. That was pretty cool. Um, I should actually live line this guy, but that was wild. That was the first smallmouth I pulled out of here, and I always thought doing this is going to be the way to find them. I think there's a submerged tree down there, well, to my right. So, kind of just rigging up here now. Kind of got stuck on it, but that was wild smallmouth bass. Like I said, always fishing worms in the deep. You just don't know what you're going to pull up. So, really would like to... Oh, that might be a... All right, that's a yellow perch. So we got a yellow. Okay, that's good. That's a good sign. Your pants are going to get dirty when working with worms. But today we've been working, and these are the European night crawlers. They're just fantastic. I love these here for for the the fishing this time of year. Regular night crawlers are a little bit bigger. These do have some nice size to them, but they're great for just about you can keep the big ones for your bass, your pickerel, and then use the smaller ones for your panfish style. These are perfect size for perch, that's for sure. And uh, you'll get anything with them. We got like everything today. The only thing we need to get now is the trout. And it's a definite possibility, but I don't think so. It's not today. <laughs> They're in here, though. This is a good one. I might need the net for him. That's a good fish. I think he's a big catfish. Whoa, my God, he's going under the boat. I want to get him. Are we filming? Yes, we are. That smallmouth bass came up to the top. Oh, goodness. It's, oh, oh, it's a big pickerel. Oh my goodness, it's a big pickerel. Huge. Big summertime pickerel deep water. 
Whoa, my goodness. That's like a pike size pickle. Oh, okay. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Oh. Oh, my goodness. That's a beauty. On the worms. How is he? I'm surprised. Oh, he just got a. I was going to say, I'm surprised we got him up on the boat. Wow, that is a beauty. Pickerel, smallmouth bass, 8, 16, 24, about 26 inches easy. He's a keeper. There's my map. Oh my good lord. That's a nice fish. Actually, I've had him twice as big, but we're going to get this guy on his way. Actually, makes some beautiful, beautiful cakes. There he goes into the deep. <laughs> that, was like, that was way cool. We got. I thought he was a big catfish. I seen him coming up. He was kind of flashing. I thought he was a big caddy. That's what I was looking for. I'd love to see a big caddy like that. That was a nice, nice, I'd say five, six pound fish. Easy. Had some weight on him. I felt that. Great day, great day so far. A little bit of everything. Um, not sure how deep he was. But fishing the worms, deep water, summertime. So they're feeding, they're feeding the cold deep. So you go yeah. down, right? All the way to the bottom. Yeah, I, uh, I'm uh, kind of dropping down, trolling, uh, drifting. You got the saw, but they seem to be in and out with all this bait in the water. So just hitting them. Nice. I had a beautiful, beautiful pickerel though earlier. A nice, nice small mouth. Yeah, but they're, they're out there. The same bait or you use a... I'm using the worms, okay. just drifting around with worms. Oh, I have this. Right. Like this one, this purple and the whatever it is. Yeah. I do well with those, yeah. I'm like sitting in the middle of the saw bellies. I just picked something up here. I think I have one on the other rod too. Could be white perch. I haven't had a double yet. Let's see, what is he? Oh yeah, beautiful white perch. Beautiful white perch. So we might have been, might be tight on these saw bellies. We got here before he eats. Do I have another one on? Oh, I think I got a double. First double of the day. We might have hit him. We might have hit him good. I might drop anchor. I'm going to take another. We're in the thick of them. They could be pickerel, everything up in here. Whoa, that's a nice perch. That is a beautiful perch. That's all right. We did okay. We got up in here. I'm going to get back out. Like I said, I tripped at these perch. The hammer in those bellies. I want to take another cast. Great day. Great day. Got beautiful big white perch, big pickerel, beautiful smallmouth bass surprises. Um, yellow perch, all the bluegill you want. Let's see how thick they are. But they're thick, we're gonna set up anchor, keep it, keep it doesn't matter so. So again, we're working number one, my intuition. That's what I, oh, I think I, does that I hit? I always go on my intuition first because I got a good layout of what's going on. Oh, not a good, but anyway, a little bit of layout what's going on. Uh, probably secondary, I, I'm working with the finder. Um, I'm primarily looking to see what that bottom's doing. I might ride a certain, a certain contour or something like that. And uh, the tertiary, I'll, uh, I've got a map for reference, get a general idea, and I make little markings on them. That's stuff I want to look at, and kind of, I'm up in here. This is where some bellies over there. So that's, uh, yeah, that's how I work in the water. Could be some perch running on there. I think that could 
be a gill. Ooh, something hobbled up there. Could be a perch. Oh, it's a perch. It's a perch. Nice perch. Nice perch. I'm looking for something just a tad smaller. Oh, we even got big mouth bass today. Look at that guy. So we got almost a large mouth bass. Beautiful small mouth bass. Big pickerel. White perch, yellow perch. Um, look at the cotton. Trying to think if we left anything out. A beautiful big pickerel, beautiful smallmouth bass, beautiful white perch, yellow perch. Oh, plenty of bluegills, plenty of bluegills. So I see some saw belly, so I might throw over a them. That's where the big action could be at. So let's get moving. A lot of white perch. I had a, a big pickerel on one back around the corner. Uh, smallmouth bass, wow, nice. yeah, and uh, one tiny largemouth, but a lot of white perch. They're kind of following the saw bellies around. Nice. Yeah, anything? No, I'm not. I'm just going to all the stuff, all the plastic, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not really. <laughs> Need to learn the, you know, the area of water. Right, right. I usually fish it on that side because I'm, I am moving over there. But. Yeah. Not sure what this is. He's kind of swimming back and forth. Get a look up here. It doesn't feel big, but the way, he, wow, that's just a, a big perch doing his, doing his thing. It's a nice size. It's a nice size eating perch. So he was just kind of swaying back and forth. And I'll show you the rig in a little. Now let me show you the rig. And this is the rig I use 90% of the time. Actually, I started with something else today. And this is just the way to go. Um, just the old-fashioned Carolina rig. I have all my... That's a half ounce on here. To a bead. And that will attract those perch. Big time. Those perch will get false hits. They'll be hitting this and they'll be hitting the bead. And I put that to my barrel swivel anywhere between 12 to 12 inches, 24 inches of monofilament. And I just use monofilament line. This is, I think, is a 10 pound test. Uh, you know, you might want to use six or eight pound for the perch, but um, it don't matter to me. You know, we, we do well with what we got. So that is how I'm rigged. Um, using bait cast and tackle today, all different kinds, whatever I got. So I'm going to do a little bit of blowing and uh, see if we get some more fish here. Oh, he's got a little weight to him. That's got to be a perch, or probably a big one. Oh, yeah. That's a nice perch. Some beautiful, beautiful perch today. Beautiful perch. Big pickerel. Beautiful smallmouth bass. Ooh, there's something nice down there. Working with the map, the fish finder. Oh, I think I'm getting hit again. I think I'm doing better on the drift now. Yeah, got the map. Just intuition is number one. Out the bottom, I'm going in, you know, between 15, 20 feet, 17, 15 feet, no shallower than 15, no deeper than 20. And uh, just riding that edge of that slope and picking all kinds of fish up. Uh, we got pickerel, smallmouth bass, plenty of bluegill, white perch, yellow perch. And uh, I'm sure there'll be catfish tonight. So. We'll get, oh, I think we got another double. We'll get white perch on the drift and troll. I actually might drop down the anchor right in here. I'm taking a look at that tree. See if we're be tied up in on the white perch. I know I have one on here. He took really different. Oh, nice perch. And he was just, just right under the boat. Let's see. 
sometimes, like I said, they get that shade. They get that shade down under. And then they'll hang it. They'll follow you around. That's a good eating size one. I think they found the boat in the bag here. But we'll talk about. Well, I'm working with a map, and I keep the map in my head. That was the bottom. Always something going on when you're drifting and throwing. Um, but I'm kind of working in here as so I'm looking at these here. Uh, gradual drops where I kind of make sharp points and I've been looking at I hit one earlier wasn't happening I hit one one and finally I hit an area around here and then this one and those those sharp points is where I'm getting those congregation of fish so I have a, a rudimentary map actually I keep a copy here sometimes I don't I'll make a copy and put it in, a, in my mind and hopefully I'll remember it and a little bit of fish finder work um, and uh, the bulk is like I said all oh my goodness there's something on here the bulk of it is all intuition wow this is something good I think it might be a cat I don't know oh man he's really digging too is he oh yeah it's a big catfish A nice size caddy too. Yeah, they got some good jaws on them. Ah, ooh. We're just gonna clip that and We got a lot of white, so we're gonna let him go. So we got cat, catfish too on the day. Nice, we didn't even start fishing for him yet. Ooh. Catfish should be out soon. Oh yeah, big mouths or? Yeah, large mouths. Oh yeah, there's some nice ones in here. Hmm. Oh, the big ones. It was oh. made like, I don't know, half pounds. Yeah. Inches, inches, like yeah. There's some big ones. <laughs> I know how. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. You have a good day. It was nice talking to you. So I see you when I see you. Yeah. Yeah. Take care. Or something hitting it. Probably perch. They seem to be picked up now. Just warming up. Yeah, he's there. Oh, could be something better. Let's see. Oh, I should be like a 10 pound bass. Now he's a perch. I'm going to make my way back to the tree and then back up. And we're going to let this guy go. I got enough for bait tonight and dinner. So. And these perch are just wild now. Well, not really wild. I've had them real fast. They're kind of moving in and out, scattered, but they're there. They're carpeted and moving. Ooh, that's a nice one. We're going to keep him. That's a nice size perch. Slow down there. A perch in the cooler, nice size, nice size eating perch. And uh, I'll tell you what, uh, summertime fishing um, definitely, if, especially if you're going out in the afternoon, um, ooh, bait is you know, worms, just a great way to go. You can see the power of the worm. Um, beautiful smallmouth bass, large, little, little large now today. Um, all the white perch you want. I mean, we, we probably could have honed in on them a little bit better. Uh, big pickerel, nice catfish, yellow perch, 
and uh, plenty of bluegills, plenty of bluegills. And I am sure I forgot something. <laughs> but just uh, bait is really going to make the day.